we've pulled our RV out of Hidden Valley storage and now we are pulled into a campground, an Army Corps of Engineers campground. And we are chilling down our fridge. And once that's done, we'll load in some groceries and we're gonna do some repair stuff that when we put the RVs into storage, we just sort of like... Knew it, knew it had to be done, but scheduled for after. We defrosted and um, we ordered parts while we were at my brother's house. And now it's time to get cracking. We'll have to see how this how this all goes. Stay tuned. Moment of truth, hopefully we've got the right one. There might be a little wind noise because we're outside, but show me what you got. This is our new inside door, la door latch and door handle. It comes from Out of Doors Mart. It was, I want to say $36 thereabouts. Nice. And um, the reason why is we need to replace this one. I don't know if you can really see it on camera, but it's bent here and there's a clear crack right here, a crack forming. So let's do it. This should be a direct replacement, just the three screws and making sure the inside is all lined up. I will say the door swing could be left or right on an Airstream, so you wanna make sure you order the correct um, left or right for your door swing. Gotta loosen these three screws and then I've gotta take off the little cap that goes on the lock mechanism. Back screw seems loose already. Is that part of the problem? Not sure, not sure. And then the little cap. That's what's inside. Interesting. Got this open, so I'm just gonna clean up the kind of the grunge and the grit around that was hidden behind the latch. Look at you get brownie points cleaning the door. I had a little wipe out, so. Might as well use it, huh? In case you're wondering what happens when the door locks and unlocks, this is the mechanism for that. Yeah, but Stream Rolling gave us the little, little the, the rubber yes. brake thing. Yeah, we don't have to deal with that anymore because our viewers are awesome. All right. Wait a minute. Does this have to go somewhere specific? Well, I got one. Look at that one. So. There's the old one. There's the new one. Pretty similar. Storing the trailer in the Texas heat um, left our gasket actually sticking to the door frame. Um, I just found that to be interesting when I opened the door to see all that residue there. The screen door gasket, it was so hot that this coating on the foam stuck to the metal. The main thing to pay attention to to line up is that the fork here has to straddle this right here. Could you pass a screw? Thank you. Just click the little cap on there. And the last screw here. This has been fairly straightforward. I've just put all three screws in, put the cap back on. I like the fact that it doesn't have the bow in it. The other one, you could clearly see a roundness to the plate. Just to compare, I think that curve that this latch has is pretty obvious. I'm happy with this improvement. All right, this is in. I've got the three screws tight. I'm much happier with this laying flat against the door. The other one clearly had a crack starting as it was bowing. I think pulling on the handle was doing it. Um, at any rate, I don't know how long that one would have lasted, but this one seems a lot better. I've closed this, and then you can see with a latch lift, it releases. Do that again. All right, moment of truth, let's close the door and see if it opens. Wait, do you have a set of keys? Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go inside, because in case it, no, you go inside, because you'll get trapped, not me. See what we did there. I see you. the lock so close it I'm gonna try the lock all right 
lock works and latch works. Lock works, latch works. We'll call that a win. On to the next project.